Hello friends, hope you guys are having an amazing day. It is Friday um, and we are starting, or we're continuing um, our study in this book, What Every Child Should Know About Prayer. And I've kind of tweaked the title to say, or you know, for the series, for the purpose of the series, What Every Person Should Know About Prayer. And I love just kind of diving into um, just the way that we explain it to our children, uh, just the basic, um, you know, definition of what prayer is looking at scripture um, and how we can just remind ourselves of those truths, you know, uh, even if we've been in the faith for a number of years. So let's dive in. We left off in the first section, which is uh, God wants us to talk to him. All right. And we have a few more pages in this section and then we will be done. And then I believe next week, um, hopefully on Monday, I will pick it back up. All right, so it says, we can use our bodies to help us pray. Um, oh my gosh, this is where we left off. Did we? All right, here we go. So, um, we can pray anywhere. We can pray with other people or by ourselves. We can pray at the table or in the car. We can pray while we're brushing our teeth or making our bed. That's the beauty of praying. Since we don't necessarily have to uh, pray out loud and we can pray um, in our minds and our hearts, we can pray while doing absolutely anything while we're driving. Um, I remember a couple of times being in the car by, with my mom and she would be praying and I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought it was so weird that she was praying with her eyes opened and driving because I was so used to always having to close my eyes to pray. Um, but it is true, since we are talking to God, we can pray anywhere, right? We can pray when we're in a big crowd of people or when we're alone in our room. God really likes it when we talk to him in secret. And he doesn't like it when we try to impress other people with our prayers. Because um, that just shows that we're trying to impress other people by the language that we're using or the vocabulary or... No, you know, we, again, we have to understand who it is that we're talking to and since he is everywhere um, and he is God our Father. Yeah, we can talk to him like he's right there next to us. That is who we are addressing when we pray, okay? Matthew 6, 6 says, But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father who sees everything will reward you. So I love how... Um, it's not bad to pray in front of people. I think it's very edifying for us to, as believers, to hear each other's prayers. But there's something about when it's just you and the Lord where you can really be genuine and there's no pressure because I feel like I have fallen into that pressure too. Like my palms are getting sweaty, my, my heart rate's going up because, oh my gosh, I have to pray. And that's when I remind myself, you are talking to God. The same person that you are talking to when you do pray by yourself in your room, it's him. He's the one that's listening. He's the one who I should be concerned about. Okay, so I love how it's like, go away, shut the door and pray in privacy because I feel like that way we could really open up our hearts. We could really open up to so many things and maybe it's just hard for us to do it when we're in public, okay? So um, short little prayer here, I can pray. God, it makes me happy to talk to you no matter where I am. All right, we can pray about everything. God wants us to talk to him about everything. He wants us to talk to him about the things that make us afraid and the things that make us happy. I love how vulnerable we can be to God when we can say, God, you know what? Like this right here, like I'm afraid for this and I am frightened for this. Like even with this whole pandemic, um, people genuinely having fear, you know, and we can come up to God who is the author of everything, who is um, sovereign rules everything and say, oh, Lord, I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of this. Let us be very real and genuine the way that our children are with us. Like a lot of times, like I have kids who like don't have a filter in their mouth. They just like, whatever they think, they say, right? And I feel like, yes, we do have to watch what we say, those around us. But sometimes with God, we could just be open and just say, God, this is bugging me. This is bothering me. This is and making me afraid to do this, not to do this, etc. That we can have that with our Father. He wants us to tell Him what we need and, and thank Him for everything He has done for us. We can come to Him and ask Him for things. Even though He already knows everything that we need, there's just something so amazing to be able to get it out of our mind, out of our heart and say, it's in your hands. 
here it is, all right? Nothing is too small or too big to talk to God about in prayer. So let's not think, okay, well, I, these things I can't address um, with God or address them or bring them up to God in prayer because they're big. Like, who should I marry? What job I should get? But these little things like, I don't know, the small things in life, we can still come to God and pray and put it in his hands, okay? Um, Ephesians 4, 6, I love this verse. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So it says, don't worry, right? But don't just sit there and not worry. Pray, right? Your concern, put it in God's hands. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. There's always so many things for us to be thankful and grateful for, for the Lord. What are some things that you want to talk about, um, talk to God about today? You know, think about that. What are things that are in your heart that you're wrestling with that you say, God, I just want to get it out and I want to put it in your hands and I want to trust in you. And there's something about praying out loud and doing it with your words that is just brings so much peace and hope um, in our lives. Okay. God invites us to pray to him as our father. When we pray, we pray to God the Father. The Bible says that we can call him Abba, which means uh, we can come to him as our daddy, okay? Our God is a good daddy who loves his children. His heart is moved when we hurt. He leans down to listen um, when we ask him for help. Because God is a good father, sometimes he says no when we ask him for things that, we, that he knows would not be good for us. So just like when my kids ask me to do um, to give them something that I know is not good for them, and I would love, I have to say no, that's God too. And sometimes he says no. Um, but again, just being able to, um, to know that he is approachable through Christ Jesus. We have reconciliation through Christ to be able to approach him. Galatians 4, 6 says, And because we are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, prompting us to call him Abba Father. Okay? So what are some of the good gifts God the Father has given to you? So think about that. What are so many? First and foremost, Christ Jesus, um, but anything else in our lives that we can be grateful that God our Father has provided for us. Okay. Next, Jesus makes our prayers pleasable to our Father. These are amazing facts, guys, that we can teach our children, but this is a great reminder for us. Jesus is the only child of God who never sinned. He was perfect. But on the cross, he was punished for our sins. God can hear our prayers because Jesus took our punishment for the sin that once came between God and us. So the gospel, right, firsthand is the reason why we're even able to talk to God because initially we weren't able to. Um, we uh, are sinners and God is holy. So I love that he was one who took the initiative. Salvation comes from him to uh, have reconciliation with us. And now that's even the whole reason why we're even able, I'm saying even a lot, able um, to pray to him. Jesus is with the Father in heaven right now, praying for us. He's telling the Father what we need. He's asking the Father to accept us and take care of us. Romans 8.34 says, Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. Okay? So a little prayer. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayers because Jesus paid for my sin on the cross. And this is the last little section. Yes, the last um, little page on this section is the Holy Spirit helps us pray. When we don't know what to pray, so many times, the Holy Spirit helps us. He helps us understand the Bible so we know what God wants. He shows us the signs we need to confess and the ways we need to change. When we forget to pray or fall asleep when we're praying, it's happened to me several times, we can be sure that the Holy Spirit has forgotten has not forgotten or falling asleep. He is praying for us right now. Um, so I kind of have, um, I have insomnia. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm just like, don't look at the clock. Don't, don't think about what time it is or how long you've been awake. I'm just like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Um, but sometimes I feel like, God, you're allowing this. Um, man, let me be, let me really take advantage of this time and pray. 
And um, and I do, and I, I feel like those are the times where I fall asleep praying because I got up already and I'm already up and awake and I'm like, let me use this time, um, yeah, to pray to God. And he's awake, I'm asleep, but he's awake and I'm able to speak to him and I'm able to pray in those times. So again, we can pray to him whenever we want, at any times, uh, because he doesn't sleep. Romans 8, 26, the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groan with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. So even the Holy Spirit being inside of us, knowing um, just our attitude and what it is that we're trying to tell God the Father, He helps us find the words or just really illustrate um, how do we say it? Really transmit that those feelings that we want and those thoughts that we have to God the Father through prayer. That's amazing. Okay, Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit who helps me pray when I don't know what to say. All right, guys, so that finishes that section. And hopefully next week we will start. Prayer is more than asking God for things. All right, don't forget our hope in life and death is in Christ Jesus. Stay tuned for a few messages from myself. Love you all, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Hey friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It really does mean the world to me that you take time out of your busy schedule to check me out. So thank you so much. I have a few messages to share with you guys. They won't take long at all, I promise. So number one, I accept prayer requests. Um, there's a list that we have here uh, at my house that me and my family pray for every single day. So if you have a prayer request um, and you want us to add you to the list, just go ahead and contact me. Uh, you can leave a comment below or you can email me or contact me through any of my social media platforms and we will go ahead and add you to that list. Number two, if you are on Instagram or Facebook, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I post a lot more content there than I do here. I share with you guys just my everyday life, pictures of my kids, recipes, what I do um, on the Insta stories and all that good stuff. So if you are there, go ahead and follow me. And number three, if you are not already part of this family, go ahead and subscribe um, to my channel and hit that notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you get notified. We have so much fun here. I post videos on my life. I do vlogs. I do makeup reviews. I do recipes. And also I do Bible studies. So if you're interested, go ahead and join our family. We would love to have you. All right, guys, so that's about it. That was nice, short, and sweet for you guys. Thank you again for watching. Um, don't forget our hope in life and death is in Christ Jesus. Love you all, and I will see you on my next video, Lord willing. Bye.